In this video, I'm going to do my best to shine a little light on the topic that is salary range for computer science majors. What is up guys, Forrest here, and before you say anything, let me discuss a few of my qualifications for discussing this topic. One is I just got a software developer job yesterday, and two, I graduate tomorrow with a computer science degree. So that's, that's all I got. So let's go ahead and get started on talking about a few of the variables. Because if you're anything like me, when you were pursuing or thinking about pursuing a computer science degree, you're searching online, how much can I make as a software developer? Or how much can I make with a computer science degree? But before you go down this path, expecting to come out with a job that's paying you $100,000, we need to discuss three variables that are very important. The first one is the type of computer science job you want. The second one is your location. And the third one is your level of experience, which if you are a computer science graduate straight out of the, you know, out of college getting your degree, it's probably going to be minimal experience. So first, let's get started with the job, with the type of job, because you can be something like a data analyst, business analyst, a little bit different, a data scientist, a software developer, and even within software development, there's web, mobile, backend, database, front, whatever there may be. I actually made a whole video about career paths for computer science students, so check that out if, if you still have yet to decide what you want to do. But all of these different jobs will pay you differently. You may not make as much as a software developer if you're a data analyst, depending on where you live. Some places you may make more, you see? So you need to figure out where you're going with your degree. You could change along the way, sure. Just know that your expectations should change along with it. So to give a few practical examples, I just Googled on my phone, data analyst salary. And that is saying $55,754 per year as an entry level data analyst. So now let's Google software developer salary. And here we have it. It is $100,690 US dollars. However, that's not saying for entry level developers. And this will discuss more in point three. But let's, for example, take a look at entry level software developer salary. According to glassdoor.com, entry level software developer salary is $55,000 per year. So along the lines of the data analyst, in this example, you can see the data analyst beating it out by about $750. And now we can look up entry level iOS developer salary. And if we come down here, we can see under entry level iOS developer salary under pay scale, it says it runs from $49,000 to $116,000. I'm just using this search method to show you that you need to make sure you're searching for the right thing. You can't just look up computer science salary. Actually, let's do that. Let's look up computer science salary. And that comes in at $93,173 per year for the average salary for a computer scientist. That's not saying entry level or anything like that. That's saying senior computer scientists or entry level computer scientists. Uh, the average of all of them are making around $92,000 per year. So just take this as an example that you need to make sure you're looking up the proper job for where you want to work. But as we discussed, you saw software developer get paid $100,000, but then when I entered the word entry level software developer, you saw that drop all the way down to $55,000. And by no means is this a scientific lookup of the salary range based on what people enter into Glassdoor, yada yada, because those are kind of those things I'm referencing. But those are also the things people going into computer science degrees are referencing as well. I'm just trying to make it clear that you need to make sure everything is proper when you're searching. And when we get to the end of this video, I'm going to further discuss the actual salary range for what you can expect as a computer science graduate, taking all variables into effect and finding out the average. But now we need to take location into consideration. So what I've done is I typed in entry level software developer salary CA for California. And down here, as you can see, it says under glassdoor.com an entry level Software, de software engineer, wording is actually crucial as well, reported making $70,000 per year. And that was in Los Angeles. I actually scrolled down a little bit more and saw this on pay scale for entry level San Francisco software engineers who earning an average of $109,000 per year. So a lot of the average you'll see online will come from a national average of software developers or a particular type of developer. This is two different counties or cities within the same state making that much different reported entry level software engineer salaries. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and type in 
entry level software developer salary VA for Virginia. And it says the average salary for an entry level software engineer is $61,931 per year in Virginia, which says it meets the national average. And that is on indeed.com. So a lot of these numbers we're discussing right now could be your entry level salary range. I just want you to know that your location and your job are going to play a huge role. And if you are a computer science graduate, like you're just coming out of computer science degree, that you're probably going to be going into an entry level position rather than a mid-level or senior level position. I just want to show you one more thing on the phone real quick before we actually discuss what you could be making. And that is an article on payscale.com called best jobs for computer science majors by salary potential. Now, I'm going to take this screenshot off the web because it looks a little bit nicer. But as you can see, it says, you know, software development engineer, Android uh, software developer, cybersecurity engineer, so on and so forth. And you can see they're making six figures. You also may notice that the top of the heading says mid career pay. And if we click on this little button here, that says 10 year minimum or something along those lines of how long they've been working in this space, not necessarily in that position, but in this space in order to reach and achieve that salary for the job that they're working. Just to put things in perspective, always know your three variables, the job type, the location, and the amount of experience you have. So now what I'm gonna do is take everything we discussed and try to bundle it together to give you a better understanding of what to expect coming out of your computer science degree. But take it with a grain of salt, I live in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia, so I'm going to try to base it off of what I know, and that's this area. So as a data analyst, the estimate that we initially saw somewhere around 55,000 is spot on from people I've talked to as data analysts or systems analysts or business analysts. A lot of those are slightly different jobs, but very often interchangeable. You can be expecting to make in this area around 55,000 to 60,000. But based on the research I've done when looking for actual jobs within that space, because I didn't know if I was going to move or if I was going to stay here, I've looked for jobs in Hampton Roads area, in Atlanta, in Texas, a few different cities in Texas, over in Colorado, and those are really the four main ones that I like actually dove deep into. And from what I can tell when it comes to data analyst position, that's what you can expect to make as well. However, when it comes to the software developer position, it said around 55,000 as an average for an entry level software developer. That, I mean, it can be, but it's generally somewhere between 55, maybe 60 to 70,000. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've seen people get paid 50 or $45,000 to become a software developer, but it's more common to stay somewhere around 60, maybe mid 60s as an entry level software developer, depending on where you work. Startups are gonna be different than Fortune 500 companies. This is where more variables come to the equation and just gets confusing and confusing and confusing. So what I want you to do right now is go to Google, type in entry level followed by the job you want software developer or you can be more specific it maybe you want to be an ios developer or an android developer or a web developer or front end only or back end only or maybe you want to be a data analyst type in what you want to be and then type in your location preferably your city and state this will help you understand what to expect when you come out of your computer science degree program i hope i helped you i know it's kind of vague you can look up online like how much to make X, Y, and Z, but just know that it may not be exactly the range that you should be expecting because a lot of these software developers make six figures a year aren't realistic for most entry-level software developers unless you're over in California, in particular areas of California. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.